Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Fascinating world of multi-agent orchestration, a powerful approach to building intelligent AI systems. Multi-agent orchestration involves coordinating multiple AI agents to handle complex tasks, leveraging their unique capabilities to deliver accurate, context-aware answers. Step 1. User Query The process begins with a user query, the starting point of any multi-agent system. This could be a natural language question. Step 2. Query Rewrite Next, we move to Query Rewrite, a critical step to optimize the user's request for downstream processing. This step is often handled by a specialized agent L. Step 3. Graph-based agent orchestration. Now we get to the heart of the process, graph-based agent orchestration. This step involves coordinating multiple AI agents to process the rewritten query using a directed acyclic graph, or DAG, to manage dependencies and workflows. Let's break down the agents involved and how they interact. First, there's the search agent, which performs web searches to gather external data. It might use an API like SERP API to query the web, fetching recent articles or documentation about AWS Bedrock updates. The results are parsed, often as HTML or JSON, and passed to the next agent. Then we have the LangChain agent built on the LangChain framework, which excels at chaining tasks. LangChain uses a memory augmented LLM, like Llama or Claude, to maintain context across steps. It might combine the search results with data from other sources, using LangChain's built-in tools like document loaders or text splitters to process the information. The RAG agent, Retrieval Augmented Generation, is up next. It leverages a vector database such as Pinecone or Weaviate to retrieve relevant documents or embeddings from a knowledge base. For example, it might fetch internal AWS Bedrock documentation using a similarity search with cosine distance to rank results. The retrieved data is then fed into a generative model to produce a draft response. The Crew AI agent, a proprietary agent, might handle specialized tasks like generating structured outputs or integrating with external APIs. For instance, it could format the response as a JSON object with fields for updates, features, and release dates. A greater agent oversees quality control, performing a condition check on the draft response. It might use a scoring mechanism, like BLEU or Rouge metrics, to evaluate the response's relevance and coherence. If the response fails the check, it's routed to a human in the loop, or HITL, process, where a human reviewer provides feedback or corrections. If a visual output is needed, a text-to-image agent, potentially using a model like Stable Diffusion, might generate a diagram or illustration. If the response passes the condition check, it moves to the final step. This orchestration is graph-based because each agent's output feeds into the next, with the DAG ensuring efficient task routing and dependency management, often implemented using a workflow engine like Apache Airflow or Argo workflows. Data sources. Underpinning this entire workflow are the data sources that the agents rely on. These include external web data, fetched by the search agent, and internal knowledge bases. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.